think they have dirty glasses. Hello, welcome back, or just welcome if this is the first time you're watching us. Uh, this is the third video, or it's end. But this is it's end of week two. Of end of week two, yeah. So it's challenge. Exactly. So it's a um, recap of week two of the MM Hell challenge. Yeah, I think it became slightly easier. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're aware that we need to plan stuff. <coughs> Ahead, uh... The problem is when we have to go out in the evening and then we are not prepared for the yeah. next day. Yeah. So I was literally, I was walking through like the most crowded street in South London in Croydon and I couldn't find a single place where I would get like healthy food. Not even like, not a, like a vegan joint or something? Nothing, nothing. nothing. Oh, okay. So I, I went to McDonald's and I said, can I have salad without any meat? And she was like, why? So, but oh, no, just give me the but salad. That's, that's four pounds. I'm like, yeah, I do want salad for four pounds. I do want it without meat. <laughs> um, maybe I'll count like small salad because it's just salad. Yeah, I do want just salad. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you get when you're not prepared for the day. I was actually expecting more people to go like. You know, when, when, when I tell them that uh, we're going on this diet, but I, for instance, whoever, whomever I talk to, I only received really, really positive feedback. Because when I tell people, oh, you know, we went on this diet and we want to make vlogs about it and we kind of scientifically went for it and we're measuring every day, and everyone's really, wow, that's amazing, that sounds really good. So like everyone is. I'm really positively surprised about it. So, but I guess McDonald's is kind of <laughs> falls into that category where it's like, yeah, you can expect this kind of stuff. Yeah, and we went to see our friends, and they cooked delicious but supper. But they were the first ones to invite us for dinner since we started this um, diet, and also the first ones to whom we had to message, "Thank you very much. We're coming, but <laughs> we don't eat this. We don't need this and this." But luckily, they're vegetarian. So it was kind of a really easy, they, they just made yeah. exactly what they were. Yeah, it is, and it was really good as well, yeah. And we stuck to our rule not too much alcohol, so we just destroyed two bottles of wine and a bottle of <laughs> <laughs> whiskey. Oh, God, we got... That's another side of this diet, because we, you know, even the stuff that we, we are excluding from our diet, it's not for life. We are avoiding it, we are trying not to eat it, but you know, if every once in a... Oh, you're just trying to find an excuse to drink alcohol, that's it. Okay, no, no. <laughs> never. No, but also, you know, if, if there is some food that sometimes you really, really crave for something, if you have it, we just talked about it, you have like some sweet once in, I don't know, a few months, it, you you're know, not it, gonna you're not going to die, you're not going to get cancer. And the problem from is uh, if you have too often this excuse and this, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to die, it's not that long yeah, that's true. once a while. But so. it's, I mean, it's just so that we kind of teach ourselves how to eat better and, and, and kind of get some discipline yeah, with, with food and everything. And we, One day I was working for, I was freelancing for a company and luckily just around the corner they had this small kind of cafe, cafe slash restaurant and they have loads of vegan stuff and it was really good and actually it was the first time now since we started the diet I think it was that, that exact same day that I was like totally full of energy I, there was not a single moment where I felt like down or sleepy even after eating I had one coffee in the morning and then I made one coffee around like noon-ish but just because I felt like I, I need to do something, I had to move away from the desk and I went and I I just kind of drank a few sips and, and, and I felt that I really don't need it. So this was, and, and then I came home after nine hours of working and I went running like 6k and I still felt like pumping. So this was, for me, it was a major, major achievement, I guess. Mm. I had f first time since a long while really good mood like i was uh, smiling to myself yeah so n haven't happened was that the, the, when you were drunk <laughs> <laughs> the next day 
There you go. So the situation that I was afraid of yeah. actually happened. So uh, yeah, yeah. my colleague came to work like Happy Diwali and brought some sweets. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I was just reading one article, it wasn't just about this, I don't know it what exactly it was about, but it's how to easier overcome these kind of things and it just, you say to yourself instead of, oh I'm not eating that or I can't eat that, you just say I don't eat this, so you kind of give power to yourself, so this is my decision, therefore I will not take it. And stop somebody's yeah. questions yeah. and... And no one actually asked me, so why have you decided to do this or anything, like no one your parents commented anything on this? Of course, they said it's wrong. Yeah. Meat is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Poland for you. You but need to have energy. You need fats and meat. Yeah, of course, you need meat and bread. So how you how would you assess week two if we compare it to the beginning? It's getting better and better. Mm -hmm. I think it's like much much better. You know, if we compare it to the first week, it's like it exponentially went up. So far so good, week two, very pleasantly surprised. We, you know, overall have more energy. The mood... And touch wood two weeks without pimples, I don't oh, know. Really? When was the last yeah, time, too. like for 14 consecutive days, I didn't have any pimples yeah. on my forehead. But for instance, when we started the first week, I just like someone threw like a fistful of pimples on my forehead. There's a plunk everywhere. Uh, now they, they disappeared. It's okay yeah. now, but I guess it's just like a shock or something. Mm -hmm. We're learning to cook more and more. We made what I, I made this sweet potato and yeah, we apples. want to eat less and less grains and uh. like flour products. So we're learning how to find substitutes or just to eat whole grains. Mm -hmm prepare them and cook rather than... Yeah, we'll get there. But just one thing that we've realized that, that if you want to have this kind of a diet, it requires quite a lot of planning, actually. You need to think in advance, you know, you need to think what you're gonna cook, what you're gonna have in the if kitchen. If only you could have vlog like that telling you how to do it. That would be it. Uh, imagine helpful. that. If, if I found this vlog, I would share it with everyone I know. I would do that same. would be wow, eye opening, really, seriously. If you have seeds, you know, you need to soak them for like 24 hours or something. So you always need to, you know, think in advance, or you need to get snacks prepared. You need to, especially for us, because when we work, we like to just prepare and cook food, so we don't eat outside, because it, it's much much cheaper and it's much healthier. So yeah, as she said, if we go out in the evening, the next day it's it's even harder than it used to, because it, you know before yeah, we just I went work anywhere. Every day in different place, so yeah. I don't even know if there is any restaurant or exactly. snack bar when I can grab something. Mm -hmm. so, so there's nothing completely, just some supermarket or fast food books, yeah. and that's it. And one, <laughs> she knows what's coming. <laughs> one more thing that I've noticed, which which I think is important, and we need to share it, is um, it's much easier to take a dump. Um, you really have to share it. I I do. I think it's important. People have problems with this, and you know, I had sometimes. You know, it 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 comes from a moment that's supposed to be pleasurable to something that that. It is, it is, it, it... You can just say it helps with constipation. It helps with constipation. <laughs> Number two is smoother. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I wanted just to say that I found this great place where they um, sell smoothies and juices. Yeah, so they sell all the smoothies and juices with any possible fruits and vegetables you can imagine. You just pick your combination and enjoy your smoothie and I came to work after my lunch break after I found this place and I was so excited oh and I showed it to my colleagues and I said yeah look guys I found this great place and this is so amazing have you seen it and they were like yeah but like juices it's so I'm not too sure what the thing about that's it that's so 2010 <laughs> I guess we're becoming one of those people that yeah it's okay you go with your smoothie and you know just Stay green, it's okay, we'll do our thing. That's, is that it? That's it, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't yet. 
Um, as we said, there's going to be loads of new videos coming this, this week. We're going to upload a few. We made the first recipe. We made the first uh, kind of an advice video and we're still researching. We're still doing stuff. We're getting more and more excited about everything. So stick around and of course tell everyone you know and everyone you wish to be healthy in their lives about this channel. I think that's fair to say. I think, I think yeah. you should do that. It's kind of, yeah, I mean, definitely. See you next week. Stay healthy. Ciao. Ciao.